If you're into good food and cheap beer, Lao is the destination for you. Right now we are in Vientiane in Laos and we have an interesting afternoon planned. Today's our day off. We've been filming for our new travel show which premieres on Tastemade's YouTube TV channel this fall. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're gonna go explore the capital of Laos, Vientiane. So we've been here for the last couple of days. We've been on set. We've pretty much sweated out every single article of clothing that we have. It's humid. So it's really hot and humid here uh, and we need to do some laundry. So that's first on our to-do list. But we're also gonna try to do something that's a really a specialty from here, mm -hmm. getting a custom-made tailored suit. That's because Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam used to be what was called French Indochina, and the French brought uh, the European tailoring to this part of the world, and it's really affordable. You can get a custom-made suit for under $100. So, we're gonna do laundry, we're gonna get some street food, probably get a massage, because those are pretty cheap here as well. $5. And try to get a custom suit, so let's go. We're at the tailor, it's called Bin Taylor. Hopefully they actually do custom suits here. This might just be like a menswear store. The first place that we were recommended, not actually a tailor, so one strike. That was not a wild goose chase. This yeah, is the was. promised land, we're here. Boom. So nobody in here actually speaks English and we don't speak any Lao, so we're using Google Translate, downloaded the app, you load the language, hopefully this works. The guy has called his boss. Marco's on the phone with him, explaining that we have less than 24 hours to get these suits made, so fingers crossed. So I think that we might have to go to a different shop. Um, the price just depends on the materials, so you can't just ask them for a quote because like everything's different quality You can just see right here. They're all different prices and then you pay for the labor on top of that I mean the main question is whether we can get it done in 24 hours because we leave tomorrow night at midnight Two useful phrases in Lao Sabadi which is hello and traditionally you greet people by clasping your hands together and kind of doing a little prayer and then uh, the next one is Kop chai, which means thank you, or kop chai alalai, which is thank you very much. Wait a second. The guy said the guy, okay, we yeah. just got led back to the first place, but the guy on the phone said he could do custom suits here, so maybe the guy just was upstairs and wasn't there, but we'll see. If you've watched this vlog long enough, you know that occasionally we get sucked into some Marco wild goose chases. This could be one of them. I hate to say I told you so. <laughs> But I told you so. Okay. Can we just do our laundry, get a massage, get a beer, eat some street food? All right, well, we have accomplished one thing on our to-do list, which is the laundry. Granted, it's the easiest thing to do. Getting a tailored suit in 24 hours is difficult. So we might try this again when we're in Hong Kong. It's also a very famous place for tailoring. But now the afternoon's open. It is raining like crazy. We're here during Typhoon Maria. So there's a lot of water being dumped in the Pacific. One thing that I've noticed here is that in Lao, oftentimes your beer is served with ice. Lao is not a very developed country, so there's not a lot of refrigeration. I think that's why they serve the beer with ice. But the really cool thing here is that in Lao, when you get a beer, the person who buys the beer pours the beer to the, themselves first, and then the rough translations they go to me. Like, I got this. It's very funny. It's very. It might seem kind of strange to a Westerner because we are usually like, to you! And we buy you a beer and it's our gift. But here it's like, I bought it, so cheers to me first. And then you pour the beer into one cup and pass the cup around until the whole bottle's done. And then open a second bottle. 
So, quick introduction. Our friends joining us in today's vlog are Nathan from the previous Monaco vlog, assistant camera op, and Katie, the producer. I love it here. This is my favorite place we've been on the show, without Absolutely. a doubt. The um, people are fantastic, the most super nice. We had, from two separate stores, walk us over to the <laughs> laundromat and translate for us. Who else is gonna do that? Like, where else is gonna do that? I don't know, they're very friendly. They know that we're just lost. We're totally lost here. Lost in Lao. Lost in Lao. And everyone here is really funny. Like, I don't know how many times people have just been, like all the women are just giggling at us all the time. Like we walk in and we're like trying to vlog and get suits and using Google Translate to try to say what we want. And they're just like, <laughs> and then they just take us and lead us to the next place. It's like a little adventure. So for me, definitely the best part about Laos is the food. It's very unique, it's definitely different. There's a little bit of overlap with Thai food, a little bit of overlap with Vietnamese food, but it's done in a very special way, in a very Laotian way. I am in the kitchen now, and I think we should just get, let's get in there, see what it's like, see what it smells like, see what it looks like, see what it tastes like. Some quick little roadside noodles. Mmm. Mmm. I feel like so many people come to Southeast Asia and they skip this country. And uh, I'd say that's probably not a good call. Like, there's so much on offer here, and it really is not that touristy, which is great. The Dragon Massage. Five dollars for one hour of massage. Let's do it. He says his shop is famous for the foot massage. So I think we're gonna start with a foot massage and then maybe get a shoulder massage or something like that. This is a guy rubbing his giant belly. Is this not amazing? Here's the belly button. It's actually just you rubbing his giant belly. This My is, favorite part of this is, is the best. Look at this those bunnies. Best. Okay, we're gonna check back in with you in an hour. Uh, both of us together was $14.14 and that was a generous uh, use of the exchange rate so very very affordable and that lady's elbow worked me. I feel so good. She was putting her knees into the back of my hamstrings and it hurts so good but I feel, I feel amazing right now. Oh yeah, it's all about pressure points and stretching and acupressure as you can see on this diagram here. Here you can see, this is the stomach, that's the liver. It's crazy, it's good, it's a great deal. I think we should go eat more, drink more. Well, we have made our way to a little night market to grab some food, and there's quite the array of uh, delicacies on offer. Just behind me here is pretty much every single kebab imaginable. Chicken feet, organs, an entire like skewered little chicken with the head still on. Wow, look at that. That's like a full butchered pig right here. Look at that. That is the tail of the pig. Right there, there's the snout too. Street food in Southeast Asia is definitely the way to eat well on a budget. There's tons of stuff here. Uh, one of the best things is just chicken. They take like a whole breast of chicken all the way in the arm and they roast that and that's about 15,000 kip, which is about just under $2. There's also fish that's roasted in salt. There's full duck. There's an entire spatchcock chicken. There's 
a bunch of pork. And the other night, I found some funky stuff. I ate some uh, variations of LARP, which is like a, basically a meat salad here. I had snail LARP the other day. Would not recommend that, but duck, beef, and pork is all really good. Supposedly, it's not pronounced LARP, it's LAP. And here in Laos, it's actually called goi. Yes. So that's a dish that a lot of people associate with Thai food, but it actually does come from here in Laos. Um, it's really good though. This is a, I mean, you can easily spend about three bucks and have a really good meal. Uh, five bucks, you're cruising, and 10 bucks, man, you're the king of the town. Ben Chan has a lot of nightlife. Back in the 60s and 70s, this was an R&R &R, uh, spot for American soldiers who were fighting in the Vietnam War. Um, so there were a lot of clubs that were built up then. The country became communist in 1975 and they wiped out most of the clubs. But these days, you know, there still is quite a bit of nightlife. So even though we're at that street food market, we've had a couple of nibbles, we popped inside of this little restaurant right next to it, and uh, we're gonna have a hot pot. Thank you. Dude, Nathan, Nathan with the Lowly. Wow. It's the mustache, wow. dude. It's the mustache. This guy's the full package. Yeah. Oh, we didn't get suits. No, we didn't, but no. we had a great day. Uh, yeah, more of an afternoon and evening, but let's not split hairs here. It was a fun time. <laughs> ben Chan was sick. Honestly, I was here nine years ago as a budget backpacker. I did not like the city, and in filming our episode, I had a great time. We discovered another side of the city that I'd never experienced before. We will not let you know who was budget. You have to watch the episode to find that out. But let me just say that this has transformed itself into a very big surprise for me. And now I would say one of my favorite cities here in Asia. I have never been to Laos, never been to Vientiane. And I would have to say that what I really loved about it is that it has all of the best things about Southeast Asia and it's lacking so many of the drawbacks of Southeast Asia. And one of those being over tourism. Yeah. Like you go to Thailand uh, or you go to Bali and those are great places, they're beautiful places, but there is, you know, the downside of tourism being too many people and too much tourism that it actually changes the place uh, that everybody wants to visit because it's so cool. And that I feel like is not happening here. Lao is incredible, the people are super friendly, the food is incredible, it's really affordable, and we would just like to encourage you on your next trip to Southeast Asia to stop through here, stop in Laos, experience the culture, experience the food, and enjoy yourself. On that note, we're gonna go to bed. We're tired, and we're going to Okinawa tomorrow to film the next episode of this show. So if you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already, and... And make sure to check out this show when it goes live in September of 2018. On Case Maid's channel on YouTube TV. And in the meantime, stay curious, keep exploring. We'll see you guys on the road. Peace. Peace.